Hank Goldberg is on the phone. Hank, you li you liked uh, John in, in Wall Street, too, right, Hank? I just watched it this week for about the 12th time. Hello, The Hammer. <laughs> that movie, was, uh, you were sensational in that movie. Thank I you, Hank. it was terrific. Thank you. See, I bring, I bring, I bring people together here on this. That's show, why John. I wanted to talk about Rich Eisen before you became the caretaker that you are. <laughs> are, you, are you still wearing your hat? No, not right now. I'm having a fabulous hair day, so I went sans hat. <laughs> <laughs> Hank, Hank, are you at the doctor's office now? Is that true? Yeah, I come here once a month to get my hemoglobin checked, and it was fine. Okay, so we're good. We're, we're in the clear. Yes, everything is okay. Okay. Hank Goldberg joining me here as his usual spot. I'm glad that everything's uh, checked out for Hank. Uh, yeah, John well, after the week I had, I figured I better come in and have everything yeah, checked. Yeah, wh what happened last week? Did you see, John, he, Rick, he picked, uh, Hank picks the really good games every week, in his mind, what he believes is the really good games. Uh, and last week, um, one in three, you had Dallas, Ouch. New England, and Baltimore, and Miami, and the only one that came through was Miami. What happened there, Hank? Yeah, it was worse than that. I mean, I... I'm avoiding 10 After. 10 After is a guy who, uh, when I lived in New York, he was the local bookmaker, and we called him 10 After because he was always leaning on a street light, and he was in a position when, if you looked at your watch, it was the same position as 10 After. That's pretty good. That's pretty genius. <laughs> Come on, John. How that's, great is that's that? That's Damian Runyon stuff. Isn't that's that, genius. That is for 10 After. So hopefully, you, you know, thankfully there is no 10 After in this situation. But by the way, you have a huge audience because I mentioned how the Jets were in need of a, a replacement quarterback and they should try Al Woodall. And I got a text message from Al thanking me for the plug. Hey, yeah. fantastic. Al Woodall's out there watching this program. Well, I'll tell you what, they, it, it looked like, Hank, they, 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 they didn't even use a quarterback in that game. Oh, yeah, I, uh, I don't know about the conspiracy theory that, that uh, Rex was just avoiding having him throw the ball in protest for having to use him. But it was, you know, the Dolphins had a guy playing cor cornerback who they had signed the previous Wednesday, and they didn't even try to throw the ball against him. Wow. That, was, uh, that was unbelievable. It's, and, and it had the Jets won that game, they would have the same record as the Giants, John. Uh, we don't need to talk about the Giants. I know. <laughs> I know. Oh, <laughs> it's, it's true if you think about it. Um, here are the really good games from your perspective, uh, Hank Goldberg. You'll pick them, and then I want to hear your thoughts on it, too, John. Fair enough. Here we go. Uh, the uh, Indianapolis at Cleveland game that will not feature Johnny Manziel now. What do you think, Hank? Yeah, I, I, it wouldn't matter to me who they played a quarterback, although I, I'm, I think Hoyer deserves to start, although he has five picks in his last two games. But nobody's going to keep up with Luck, who's number one in, uh, in uh points per game and yardage per game, and I think they just have too much offense for Cleveland. What do you I'll, think, I'll double whatever the Vegas spread is and take the Colts. Yeah, he <laughs> Bal <laughs> He's talking your language, Hank. Uh, Baltimore at Miami. Who do you have in this one? Well, uh, Miami didn't look too good last week, but they tend to play down to the competition. But, you know, S San Diego... And Baltimore, San Diego got that pass interference call at the end of the game to beat Baltimore. And Miami right now has given up 470 yards rushing in their last two games. And Forsett could have a big game against the Dolphins. And uh, I just like Baltimore. This is like a playoff game here. And Finnegan is hurt for Miami. If they go with that cornerback again, Flacco, who has no interceptions in his last three games, Baltimore is 11-4. and four against teams with a with a with a winning 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 record and yeah. I, I think baltimore is the team right here what do you, and i i know we can't talk points no i baltimore don't even know the, baltimore's you, the dog we, we we make points here sir as you know you when you <laughs> when you say those phrases i turn into the unfrozen caveman lawyer those terms confuse me john do, do, do you i love joshy charles's ravens uh he loves the ravens i love joshy charles he's about ravens. to have a kid i know he's the best yeah, so you like the Ravens, too. Yeah. Can, we, can we get some NFL Films music here for Hank? That's the music. There please. you go. Can we get John Fashenda? Hank Goldberg's really good games matriculates <laughs> down the rundown with New England at San Diego with John C. McGinley in studio. Hank, who wins this one? Well, I like New England uh, against San Diego. Um, you know, if it wasn't for the little turn of the ball, New England would have uh, would have had a better chance to to beat Green Bay last week. New England is nine and three following a loss, and 
I, I just think right now San Diego, if you if you go back the week before they had that win, uh, they haven't been playing all that well. They've allowed 57 points in their last two games, and they've only had one sack. And uh, mm. I think New England, by the way, <laughs> they left uh, they, for the West Coast right after that game, and all they've had to see is rain since they got out there. I don't know how they're practicing. But that cornerback uh, combination, I think, will be too much for Rivers. I like the Patriots. What do you think, John C. McGinley? Who do you, uh, think, who do you like in this uh, one? I think the Chargers are phonies. I, I love uh, I love the, the Patriots to roll. I don't love I, the Patriots. I, totally I love agree. them to roll. I totally agree. The Chargers are phonies. And, and they have offensive line problems, secondary problems. I think New England's, I think New England's done it to destroy them. I love it. John and John C. McGinley and Hank Goldberg are of like minds. Last one, Kansas City at Arizona, Hank. Who do you like in this one? That's hard. I think people are writing Arizona off too, too early. Stanton needs, needs to get home to settle down a little bit. Remember, Arizona is 6-0 and at home, and uh, I'm not picking any team anymore with a quarterback named Smith. All right. What do you think here, John? I'll take, I'll take the home team. You like Arizona in that one, too? I, I think Stanton hurts them a great deal, but I'll take them at home. Hank, uh, Chris Brockman thinks Arizona loses out. They're a 9-7 team. How do you respond to that? Wow. I, I don't think they're a 9-7 and seven team, but I, I think they, you know, two weeks ago, people were picking them uh, yep. uh, to win the division mm -hmm. and uh, they're just not that bad their defense is going to carry them in this game and uh, Kansas City right now is you remember last year uh, at the end of the season they didn't come through and I like I said no uh, more quarterbacks named Smith for me uh, <laughs> <laughs> well Hank takes to Hank you take three road teams this week in the really good games uh, you like the uh, Colts Ravens and the Patriots and you take the Arizona Cardinals uh, to win that one. So to sum up, uh, Hank, Hank Goldberg, to sum up, uh, you like those teams. Uh, I, I like the, yeah, Indy, Baltimore, and New England, and I've got Arizona as a home team. Uh, you like John C. McGinley and Wall Street. Oh, yeah. And the hemoglobin's all checked out, to sum up. Yeah, John, you were, a, uh, weren't you a sports writer in the, in the movie, too? I was, in uh, Any Given Sunday. Yeah, my dad was a sports writer. That was a that was a great gig. I'm, I thought any given Sunday was a really terrific sports. I thought Cameron Diaz was the best kept secret in that. I thought she, she was, was like Barbara Stanwyck in that movie. Awesome she was great and one of the greatest casting choices ever. Charlton Heston as the commissioner and LT oh, yeah. in that in that uh, that steam room scene uh, talking about one more chance was genius. Yeah, there you go, Hank. Thanks for joining. I'm glad everything's all checked out. Uh, thanks a lot. Of and uh, but let's. Uh, we got to turn this around. I mean, last week was a disaster. Hey, we just hey. did. You're going to go undefeated this weekend. But hey. I, I remember when Jimmy the Greek had a week like that. We went to the, the, the fruit stand on the east side, had a couple of peaches, and everything turned around. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Hank. I appreciate it. All Take right. Have a good week. You got it. Bye, Hank. Here's Hank Gold. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern. On Audience.